Do you know that you can convert a static Word resume into a dynamic PowerPoint presentation with a single click? Some people think this is a recent functionality in the web app, while it has been available on the desktop version for a long time. I am Nabil Murad. Over a decade ago, I converted my Word format resume to a PowerPoint presentation with a single click. Using a hidden tool in PowerPoint, I enriched my presentation with graphics and animation. Then I converted it to a video clip from within PowerPoint. After uploading the clip to YouTube, I sent the link to employers. In this tutorial, I show you how to convert a Word document into an eye-catching PowerPoint presentation, whether you are using the web app or even if you are using the desktop version. So let's dive in. Here is a Word document that I want to convert to PowerPoint presentation. The document must be formatted in Word by using cell styles. A style is a package of formatting that you apply with one single click. So if you want to apply styles, you go to the Styles Gallery on the Home tab. I'm going to open the Style pane to the right side by clicking on this dialog box launcher. And I can see that this is a title style and that I have a Heading 1 style, and then I have a Heading 2 and Heading 3 and so on. So every Heading 1 style will create a new slide in PowerPoint. Every Heading 2 will be creating a bulleted point. I'm going to close this document and open it on the desktop version of PowerPoint. I opened a new blank PowerPoint presentation, and as usual, it opens with a title slide. I have the designer pane on the right side, and I want to bring my Word document. This is the functionality I used over a decade ago. So on the Home tab, I click on the down arrow for New Slide, and from here, I click on Slides from Outline. I have to browse to the location of my file, and here is the weight loss document that I want to open. When I click Insert, every Heading 1 style will be creating a new slide. Every Heading 2 style will be creating a bulleted item. Now that the slides have been created automatically, I need to delete the first slide, which was the blank slide in the blank presentation. I select it and then I hit Delete. And to the right side, I can see that the built-in artificial intelligence is offering me some slide designs. I select the one I want for each and every slide. So for the first one, I'm going to select this design, and then I continue. I go to the next slide. I select this style. I go to the next one. I select this style, and I keep doing this for each and every slide. Now that I applied the slide design offered by the artificial intelligence in PowerPoint, I want to look at my presentation in Slide Sorter View. I click on the slide sorter view where I see the different slides of my presentation. They look nice. I want to move to the next step of animating whatever I want in my presentation by going to the Animations tab. So I switch to Normal view. I click on the Animations tab and I can apply whatever animation I want. I'm not going to do that for now. I'm going to skip it and apply simply some transition. I select the Morph transition and I can change the duration and make it 125. I want to move to the next slide automatically after a set amount of time. So after checking the after box, I can change the amount of time and make it two seconds and apply it to all just to simplify the concept. And then I run my slideshow by hitting the F5 key. This is a self-running presentation. Every two seconds, I move to the next slide. I created a nice presentation by converting a dull Word document into a dynamic PowerPoint presentation. I hit Escape to exit the slideshow, and I want to do the same exact thing, but this time I'm going to do it in the web app. I have a Word document, WG Resume 2022, stored on my OneDrive. And when I click on it, it will open in the Word web app. This is a simple resume 
created in Microsoft Word by using styles. I want to convert this resume into a PowerPoint presentation. Then I click on the File tab of the ribbon, and then I click on Export. I click on Export to PowerPoint presentation, which is still in preview. The Export to Presentation dialog box opens, and the built-in artificial intelligence is looking at the contents to offer the proper design. If you don't like the themes offered, you can click on See More Themes, and you will get some more. You can navigate by using the horizontal scroll bar. I'm going to select the first theme. You can select whichever theme you like. I select it and then I hit export. The document contents have been exported to PowerPoint and I want to open the PowerPoint presentation. It will open in a separate tab. When I click on open presentation, here is my presentation. Just compare between the static and the dull word document and this beautiful presentation. Of course, for each and every slide, I can change the design by selecting from the designer pane. So if you don't like the second one, you can change it to your liking, select a different one. If you don't like the ones offered, you can click always on see more design ideas. On the design tab, you can select a dark theme if you want. I'm selecting this Madison theme to see what it's offering me. I prefer this dark one, so I'm going to apply it to the slide. I can move to the next slide, keep changing the design. Once we are done selecting the theme and the slide design we like, we can apply animation and transition as I showed you for the desktop. And then when I close, the presentation is automatically saved to my OneDrive. The key for using this functionality, whether on the desktop or the web app, is to have a document formatted by using styles. In this tutorial, I showed you how to impress your clients, your employer, or your colleagues by converting a static document into a dynamic PowerPoint presentation. And if you enjoyed this training video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.